Hi everyone, this is John Girardi with Right to Life of Central California, and this is the Right to Life Minute. Proposition 1, the pro-abortion ballot initiative that will be the first ballot initiative you see on your ballot this November, is being interpreted in two very different ways by the two competing sides. The pro Proposition 1 side is saying, oh no, 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 this isn't going to change anything about abortion law in California. Uh, all, all it's doing is affirming the existing legal status of abortion in California, which is that abortion is legal up until fetal viability and then legal after fetal viability uh, when the mother's health is threatened by the pregnancy. Those of us on the no on Proposition 1 side are pointing out, actually, no, that's not what the language of Proposition 1 says. Proposition 1 says that the state cannot interfere with a woman's right to choose to have an abortion. Not an abortion prior to fetal viability and after fetal viability if the, the mother's life or health is threatened, just an abortion, any abortion. Why would those on the pro-choice side be saying otherwise? Well. My guess is that late-term abortion is extremely unpopular, even in California. Even people who self-identify as pro-choice don't like late-term abortions. They don't like third trimester abortions. They don't like post-viability abortions. I think the pro-choice side thinks if Proposition 1 is labeled, I believe accurately, as protecting a right to very late-term abortions, it might lose. People might not want to vote for it if that's all it's changing to California law. But I believe that's exactly what it's doing. It was specifically, it was very clearly written to be much broader than existing California law. The people who wrote it aren't dummies. They knew what existing California law was and they chose to, to write it in a fashion that was much broader and much more expansive than existing California law. A California constitutional amendment, which is what this ballot initiative is, would trump existing California state law when it comes to abortion. This thing is legalizing third trimester abortions. Legalizing abortion at any time, for any reason, with no qualifications. So just remember that. And tell your friends that. When they come to their ballot this November, vote no on Prop 1, unless third trimester abortion is something you're cool with. For Right to Life of Central California, I'm John Girardi. If you want to learn more about this, listen to Right to Life Radio every Saturday morning from 9 to 10 a.m. on Power Talk 96.7 and a.m. 1400 in the South Valley. You can also catch the show as a podcast. Uh, just go to the Apple Podcast or Stitcher Podcast apps and search for Right to Life Radio. And you can also watch whole episodes of Right to Life Radio on our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash right to life CA. Thanks so much. God bless.